hello everyone welcome to my second video um if you watch my other video my first video you would um remember that i i said i'm going to update you guys on how i spent my christmas so this is the video to show you how i spent my christmas um also if you stick to the end watch to the end you're going to see a competition musical competition between me and the missus so please comment in the comment section and tell me who won the competition um all right thank you here we go Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Felix Nabidab. That's Tara. Mm -hmm. Felix Nabidab. Felix Nabidab. Felix Nabidab. Eh, eh, eh. Felix Navidad Felix Navidad Prosper We want to wish you a Merry Christmas We want to wish you a Merry Christmas oh, We want to wish you a Merry Christmas Christmas from the bottom of my heart We want to wish you a Merry Oh, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas oh, We want to wish you a Merry Christmas From the bottom of our heart Ouch! Ah. Did you get the Bible? Uh, I didn't manage to Right, so... Are we reading? Today is Christmas So we have to read Where? about Christmas Hold on, hold on, sit back. Yeah. Is the video going on already? Yeah. Okay. I wonder where I'm speaking right now. So, <laughs> <coughs> why do we celebrate Christmas? To celebrate Jesus' birthday okay. and resurrection. Okay, tell why do you celebrate Christmas? To bless Jesus. Okay. Well, you can't bless Jesus. Jesus has to bless you, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Praise Jesus. Yeah. So to, to celebrate the birth of Jesus. Christmas. Hold on. So you know, like a lot of people have been celebrating Christmas, but they're not actually 
celebrating Jesus. And that's mm -hmm. not the right way. It's not just about eating chicken and eating mash. mash. Hmm? But we did eat chicken, we did eat mash. Yes. But we celebrated Jesus as well, isn't it? Yeah. So that's our. Wait, how? Well, because we thank God, isn't it? Uh -huh. This morning. This morning. By having the dog. And we dance for Jesus as well, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that's that's more that's a complete Christmas because we did everything we we're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Um so what else? Should we do a reading? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I need the Bible to go. Mommy's big Bible? Anyone, yeah. Okay, okay, Mommy's big Bible. Go. Oh. Found it. Oh. <laughs> sorry. I've got it. Okay. I need to keep it in there. Why? Mommy's Bible is humongous. Ugh. Oh, Tarkis. Can you help me? <coughs> Tarkis, you. Yeah. Mom, look, look. Mom, look. Tarkis, daddy. <laughs> Remember that time when you had lipstick on your lips? It was very, very light. Okay, so let's read Matthew chapter 1. So that's Matthew 1, 21. 1 verse 18. Oh, I wanted to re read Taurus first. Hmm? I wanted to read Taurus first. But my verse is not a Christmas verse. Yeah, but still. You 1 it? verse 18. Listen. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother, Mary, was betrothed to Joseph, that's the word engaged. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So Mary and Joseph were engaged. Mm -hmm. Before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Jesus? You read yeah. your body on. Mm. Then Jesus, her husband, being a just man, was not and not wanting to make a public example of her was minded to put her away secretly yeah mm -hmm. but while he thought about these things behold an angel of the lord appeared in a dream saying joseph you know my name is joseph right? mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and joseph is precious mother so the angel said to to him joseph son of david do not be afraid to take to you Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit, and she will give there bring forth a child, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sin. That's part of Tao's verse. Yeah, you know that. Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet saying Behold the virgin shall be with child and bear a son and they shall call his name Jesus And they shall call his name Emmanuel which is translated God with us Then Joseph being aroused from sleep did as the angel of the Lord commanded him and took him his wife and did and did not know her, her till she brought forth her child, uh, her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. So that's the story of of Joseph. So that's there? Yeah. Why did why did you start from there? That's where our story is from. Um, yeah? So, how did how did Joseph's attitude change when the angel appeared to him? Um, Calling the boy's name Jesus. Okay, you? Um, 
Okay, so from the story, mm -hmm. he was scared mm -hmm. before that Mary was pregnant mm -hmm. and people are going to find out mm -hmm. and it was against the law for her to be pregnant but he knows he's not the one that made her pregnant mm -hmm. so he was scared what's going to happen and he wanted to ask Mary to go home to the house mm -hmm. and the angel said to him not to be afraid so he wasn't afraid anymore so because the angel explained to to Joseph that the son he's going to have is going to be Jesus so mm -hmm. he didn't need to be afraid did you want to say something? no I thought I saw you raising your hand so <clears throat> that's that one uh, should we read another, another story? Mm -hmm. uh, which one? Luke 2 19 Luke 2 19 let's see what it's like Matthew Mark Luke so after Mark let's see I thought so, Luke was before no Luke 2 which one is it Luke 2 19, 19. Yeah? Luke 2 19. Do you want to read? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's 19 there. But there, but Mary kept all the things and pondered them in her heart. So that's, that's what. A short verse. Yeah, it's a short one. So, do you think it's more important to respond to God either with loud praise or quiet contemplation? Loud. Mm. And why? Because if you do it loudly, then um, you'll come down um, and bless you. Okay. And then if you don't? It won't um, bless you. Mm, no. You don't the, the the moral of the story is God sees you sees your heart and mm -hmm. sees what you do. So whether you shout out loud or you say you pray quietly, God is going to hear you anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay? So it doesn't matter if you shout, it doesn't matter if you say it quietly, God will hear you. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Because yeah. God is not deaf. Mm -hmm. He can hear you, even what you're thinking in your heart, he can hear you, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so how should our relationship with God affect our attitudes towards other people? I just can't say. Hmm? I just can't say. Should we read what he says? So that's Luke chapter 2, 36, and four, 36 to 40. I want to find it. Oh, it's here already. 36 to 40. So now... There was one Anne, a prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age and lived with her husband seven years from her virginity. And this woman was a widow of the A T four was a, a widow of about eighty four years. Who did not depart from the temple but served God with fasting and prayers night and day <clears throat> and coming in that instant she gave thanks to the Lord and spoke of him to all who looked for redemption in Jerusalem so when they were when they had performed all the things according to the law of the Lord they returned to Galilee to their own city Nazareth and the child grew and became strong in faith in, sp in spirit filled with wisdom and the, the grace of God was upon him okay mm. so this is how your attitude should be yeah you we should make you should encourage each other yeah that's how our, our relationship should how we our relationship with God will help us to affect other people, we'll encourage them and make them strong. 
Um, you know when you said starting from 36, you went past 36 all the way down to somewhere 40. Like, yeah. 40, yeah. I went to 40. 40, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so our Saviour has come to change our lives and we should not allow things like, you know, bad things to fill our hearts and our conversation, what like we say. Bullying. Like bullying, bullying, God doesn't like that. Yeah, and taunting your sister to make her cry, God doesn't like that. Mm -hmm. Isn't it Tara? Yeah. God doesn't like when you, when your mom tells you something and you don't listen. Mm -hmm. God doesn't like that as well. Yeah? Uh, yeah. So, you know, we should bear that in mind so that we behave like children of God. I'm crying. Is. Don't worry about it. So, now is the time to act. What we do is ask God, yeah, to show you everything you've done wrong and you apologize to God mm -hmm. and say to God that you're sorry for doing all those things and ask for forgiveness for those things you've done wrong. And what do you do? And then what, what will happen? God will replace those negative things and change you and make you to be a better person. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So do you want to pray? And mm -hmm. ask God to forgive you for everything mm -hmm. you've done. Like, can you pray with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After you pray. So just just tell God to forgive you and change your heart so you'll be a better person. Mm -hmm. right, In Jesus' name. Amen. Please help me to be a better person. And sorry for being disrespectful. Sarah, do you want to pray? Yeah. Okay, go on. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for us. Amen. We celebrate. Jesus for being born today. So thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for everything. We pray that you should help us to live the life that Jesus will be happy about and be proud of us. We thank you, God, for coming. We thank you, prayers. Forgive us all our sins. Cleanse us of it and help us to live a life that are worthy of you, God, that, that we show that we are children of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Peace. God bless you. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Me! Post it!